Hi, I'm Mike Game Dev. Welcome to my channel where I share my game dev journey as a young indie game developer and also share some experiences so we can learn and grow together. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my journey as a game developer from age 13 to this moment. What I've learned, my challenges and all of that. So try to stick around to the end of the video to learn some stuff. I was a random Nigerian kid going to high school and surviving under my parents' roof. I loved everything computer related and I used PowerPoint and Corel Draw inside out. I always came back from school in anticipation to watch TV, Nickelodeon especially, and I fell in love with the sitcom series called Game Shakers, which was where I actually heard of game development for the very first time. I literally thought games were just found and distributed to us through companies like Sega and EA. There was a faithful episode of Game Shakers I watched where the girls made Skyrim and became so popular and rich in school at their very young age. My fellow humans, this is how my game dev journey started. I believe this was my calling because I knew how to use PowerPoint and Corel Draw perfectly. Right? <laughs> I tried my best to build my first game with PowerPoint and Corel Draw, but it wasn't it wasn't really a game, let's be honest. So later on, my dad took me to a tech bootcamp for teenagers where I learned how to use Construct 2 and a little bit of Unity to develop games. But then Unity was so difficult because I didn't know anything about C Sharp or Java or programming. So Construct 2 was like a drag and drop workflow game development engine. And with this engine, I was able to create my very first big game, Domino's Pizza Express. It was a pizza game that I tried to make for a pizza company, which didn't really turn out well. That is why the name was changed. After developing this game, I saw the lies in game dev and I took it as an idol. Years went by and I kept trying my best to develop games with the engine. To gain fame and money in my school. But then I found out Construct 2 was too limited for my dream. So I realized I had to hop into Unity because I already had it installed on my PC. I knew nothing about programming then, so I decided to speedrun a computer science course online to know what programming was like. This was during the COVID 19 lockdown, and I was in my last year of high school. I successfully completed the Harvard CS50 computer science course and learned how to program in C, Python, SQL, Lua, and Java and Kotlin. But I have forgotten how to use Kotlin actually. With the object oriented programming knowledge I got from the course, I was able to start using Unity and with a couple of Bracky's tutorials, I started living my dream life, developing games no matter the situation. I was able to make my first 3D maze game, Mazevior, for an African game jam. I moved forward to develop a meme game for the Brackets Game Jam 2021.2, and now I'm currently building my already released game and adding more features to it called Crate Race 3D, my biggest game so far. Growing up in game dev in my country actually helped me a lot due to the fact that most times the power is out and I learn to work with time. Also, I had little reach to Wi-Fi. My parents actually always wondered what I used so much Wi-Fi for. And even my potato PC, I still managed to fulfill and make games, irrespective of the negative factors and conditions. Hoping someday I find myself in the perfect conditions with a beautiful setup, a limited Wi-Fi, no parents' errands <laughs> at home and good power supply. I would be able to make the best games and titles I can. It has been a long and young journey and I have learned quite a lot and I still have so much more to learn. I remember helping some university students do their computer science homework all because I knew game dev and I wanted to start developing games. But above all, I have learned that game dev is all about patience, starting small and ending big and trying not to start with a very large project 
and expecting to finish it. Sometimes music helps me a lot, rest also helps and there is a lot of failure and problems I run into and you can also run into in game dev. Um, that's really when I realized you have to take a break, you have to take breaks a lot of times. So consider dropping a like on this video if you found it helpful and subscribe because I will be posting videos like this. Hi, my name is Mikey Olawi, or you can call me Mike Game Dev. I'm a game developer, 17 year old game developer from Nigeria, and I'm trying to grow in this community. So, I need more people, and I'm trying to help anybody I can help. So, if you're really interested in growing together or helping each other and hanging out, you know, you can consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more videos like this, devlogs, and educational, inspirational videos. You know, I want to inspire you, I want to be part of your success story. You know, consider subscribing and drop a like on this video if you think you've learned something from this video.